Uh, good day, students. You are welcome to another lecture video on metabolic defects in amino acid metabolism. As we know that amino acids are the building blocks of, uh, of proteins. There are 20 common amino acids that are found in proteins and they have many functions in the body. Hereditary disorders of amino acid metabolism can be the result of defects in either the breakdown of the amino acid or in the abilities of the, uh, of the body to uh, utilize uh, that amino acid. So because these disorders produce symptoms early in life, newborn babies are routinely screened for several uh, common amino acid metabolic disorders. And we are going to be looking at uh, phenylketonuria, maple syrup urine disease, homocystinuria, albinism, alcaptonuria, tyrosinemia, and yeah, a number of other inherited disorders uh, are also screened for uh, in newborn babies. Uh, although this screening, it varies from uh, one country to, to another. So let's first look at uh, phenylketonuria. Phenylketonuria is abbreviated as PKU. It's caused by a deficiency of the, an enzyme in the metabolism of phenylalanine, which is phenylalanine hydrolase. Phenylalanine hydrolase is an enzyme responsible for the conversion of phenylalanine to tyrosine. And this enzyme requires uh, a cofactor tetrahydrobiopterin, which is abbreviated as PH4. And deficiency of phenylalanine hydrolase results in hyperphenylanilemia, hyper, hyper phenylalanine, hyperphenylalaninemia. Okay. So deficiency in this enzyme causes this. Uh, uh, this uh, disease and is actually characterized by accumulation of the amino acid uh, phenylalanine and, and sometimes deficiency of, of tyrosine. And it is uh, clinically encountered in, uh, as, uh, as uh, one in 15,000 individuals. That's say the prevalence is one in 15,000 individuals. Okay. So for the hyperphenylalanilemia, it is uh, actually when you have uh, accumulation of uh, phenylalanine in the blood exceeding the normal level, okay? When the level of phenylalanine is, is more than 20 times Okay, it's more than 20 times the normal level of phenylalanine in the blood. So we can say that condition is a uh, hyperphenylalanemia. Okay. So, and this condition uh, uh, results uh, in uh, what we call uh, PKU, phenylketonuria. So this is the uh, pathway or brief description of the conversion of phenylalanine to, to tyrosine and this enzyme phenylalanine hydrolase catalyzed reaction, okay? And it requires tetrahydrobiopterin. And when it utilizes the BH4 tetrahydrobiopterin, it's, uh, it's going to be uh, left with uh, dihydrobiopterin, which is BH2. And the tyrosine can be used uh, to, to be converted to perfumerate and to acetoacetate. So when this enzyme, phenylalanine hydrolase, hydroxylase, sorry, phenylalanine hydroxylase is uh, deficient, so this reaction will not be pos possible. So the conversion of uh, phenylalanine to tyrosine uh, is, is impossible. 
So in the normal sense, when you have phenylalanine being converted to tyrosine, and this tyrosine can be used by uh, tissues to make proteins, and also the tyrosine can also be used to, uh, to make pigment that is responsible uh, for our skin color, which is melanin. And that tyrosine also can be converted to, to catecholamines. These catecholamines are a group of uh, neurotransmitters, dopamine, uh, epinephrine, and no epinephrine that are released and synthesized and released by the body in, uh, in a stress uh, condition. And also the tyrosine can be converted to fumarate and acetoacetate. So in phenyl ketonuria, when this phenylalanine hydroxylase is absent or deficient, uh, you have uh, phenylalanine not being able to convert to be converted to tyrosine. As such, phenylalanine is converted to phenylpyruvate, to phenyl uh, lactate, and phenyl acetate. So these are the metabolites that are actually that build up in con this condition of phenyl ketonuria. You have phenyl pyruvate, phenyl lactate, and uh, phenyl acetate accumulated. So, and also, uh, this uh, represents the biosynthetic reactions involving amino acids and tetrahydrobiopterin. So a deficiency in tetrahydrobiopterin, as in dihydrobiopterin reductase, or any of the enzymes of uh, tetrahydrobiopterin synthesis leads to the uh, hyperphenylalanemia, uh, hyperphenylalaninemia, and decreased synthesis of catecholamines and serotonin. So you can see, that this BH4 is uh, actually used in the synthesis of tyrosine, catecholamine uh, synthesis, okay, and uh, serotonin uh, synthesis. So synthesis of catecholamines occurs as follows. Uh, the catecholamines are synthesized from tyrosine, and tyrosine is first hydroxylated by an enzyme called tyrosine hydroxylase to form uh, 3 4 dihydroxyphenylalanine, which is abbreviated as DOPA, and tetrahydrobiopterin requiring enzyme. Uh, this enzyme, tyrosine hydroxy uh, hydroxylase, is a BH4 requiring enzyme and is abundant in the central nervous system, the sympathetic uh, ganglia, and the adrenal medulla, and is the direct limiting step of the, of the pathway. So when DOPA is decarboxylated by uh, decarboxylase, DOPA decarboxylase, in a reaction requiring PLP, uh, pyridoxal phosphate, to form do dopamine, which is now hydroxylated by a copper-containing uh, dopamine beta hydroxylase to yield uh, no epinephrine. And, and epinephrine is formed from the no epinephrine by an addition of a uh, uh, methyl group uh, using a uh, as adenosyl methionine as the methyl group donor. Okay, so in Parkinson's disease, we have a deficiency of this uh, neurotransmitter dopamine. That is what happens in uh, in Parkinson's disease. Such deficiency indirectly raises uh, phenylalanine concentration because phenylalanine hydroxylase requires uh, BH4 as a coenzyme. So BH4 is also required for tyrosine hydroxylase and tryptophan hydroxylase, which uh, catalyze reaction leading to the synthesis of neurotransmitters such as uh, ser serotonin and the catecholamines, the dopamine that we talk about, epinephrine and no epinephrine. So actually this BH4 tetrahydrobiopterin is required as a cofactor or coenzyme for these uh, enzymes that are involved in the uh, uh, metabolism of aromatic amino acids. So simply restricting dietary phenylalanine does not reverse the central nervous system uh, if effects due to the deficiencies in the neurotransmitters. So there is what we call replacement therapy that occurs when you are replaced with uh, uh, 
uh, BH4. It's, uh, we, when we replace the BH4, it improves the clinical outcomes uh, in this uh, variant forms of hyperpenal anemia. So, um, as we are discussing, replacement therapy with BH4 improves the clinical outcomes in these variant forms of hyperphenyl alininemia. Although the, res uh, the response is uh, unpredictable, phenylalanine is an essential amino acid that cannot be synthesized in, uh, by the body, but must be uh, taken uh, as it, uh, from the diet. So excess phenylalanine is normally converted to tyroxine at tyrosine and eliminated from the uh, body. Without the enzyme that convert it to tyrosine, Phenyl ananine accumulates in the blood and is toxic to the brain, causing uh, mental retardation. Uh, penal ketonuria occurs in most ethnic groups, and if PKU runs in the family and the DNA is available from an affected uh, family member, we uh, actually amniocentesis uh, amniocy or chorionic villus uh, uh, sampling with DNA analysis can be performed to determine uh, whether a fetus has the disorder or not. So you remember amniocentesis, which is now you sample the amniotic fluid to check for uh, uh, this uh, newborn, uh, uh, inborn errors in, in the fetus. So most affected newborns are detected during routine screening tests. Uh, newborns with PKU, rarely have symptoms right away, although sometimes an infant is sleepy or it's uh, poorly. If, the three, uh, if not treated, affected infants progressively develop mental retardation over the first few years of life, which eventually becomes uh, severe. Other symptoms include failure to walk or talk, seizures, trimo, microcephaly, nausea, and vomiting, and eczema-like rash. Lighter skin and hair than their family members, aggressive or self-injurious behavior, hyperactivity, and sometimes psychiatric symptoms. Untreated children often give off a mousy body and urine odor as a result of byproducts of phenylalanine, which are the phenyl, uh, phenyl lactate, phenyl acetate, and phenyl pyruvate in the urine and sweat. So this mousy odor, uh, uh, in, in mousy body and urine odor, is as a result of this uh, byproduct of phenyl, phenyl lactate, phenyl acetate, and phenyl uh, pyruvate. So to prevent mental retardation, phenylalanine intakes uh, must be restricted but not eliminated altogether as people need some phenylalanine to live beginning in the first few weeks of life. Because all natural sources of uh, protein contain too much phenylalanine for children with PKU, uh, affected children cannot have meat, milk, or other common foods that contain protein. Instead, they must eat a variety of phenylalanine-free uh, processed foods, which are uh, specially um, uh, produced for them. So low protein natural food such as fruits, vegetables, restricted amounts of certain grain cereals can also uh, be eaten. So this next one is maple syrup urine disease. It's rare. It's uh, one, the prevalence is one in 185,000. And it is autosomal recessive disorder in which there is a partial or complete deficiency in branch chain alpha keto acid dehydrogenase. The enzyme complex that are decarboxylate, leucine, isoleucine, and valine. So this is branch chain alpha keto acid dehydrogenase. Uh, it's decarboxylate, leucine, isoleucine, and valine. So children with maple syrup urine disease are unable to metabolize branch amino acids. 
And these amino acids and their byproducts, which are the alpha keto acid accumulate in the blood, causing a toxic effect that interferes with neurologic changes and brain functions, including seizures and mental, mental retardation. The disease is characterized by feeding problems, vomiting, dehydration, severe metabolic acidosis, and characteristic maple syrup odor to the urine. If untreated, the disease leads to mental retardation, physical disabilities, and, and even death. So the byproducts across body fluids such as uh, urine and sweat smell like maple syrup. There are many forms of this disease and symptoms are vary in severity. And most severe form of it, the infant developed neurologic abnormalities, including seizures and coma during the first week of, uh, of life and die within days to weeks. In the milder form, children initially appear normal, but they develop vomiting, staggering, confusion, coma, and odor of maple syrup partially during physical stress, such as uh, infection, or in some countries, newborn uh, tests uh, are routinely screened for this disease with low uh, of blood test. Infants with severe disease are treated with dialysis, and some children with mild disease are benefit from uh, injection of vitamin B1, thiamine. After the disease has been uh, brought under control, children must always consume a, a special artificial diet that is low in branch chain amino acids that, can, that, that are affected by the missing uh, enzyme. So let's look at albinism. Uh, albinism is the result of a problem in the biochemical pathway that, combat, that converts phenylalanine to melanin. Melanin is the pigment that is the protein that uh, gives uh, our skin its uh, uh, true pigments. Okay. Okay. Now it is usually characterized by eye problems. However, people affected by albinism are expected to fulfill a normal lifespan. It is a heterogeneous condition inherited through either autosomal recessive or sex-linked recessive genes that affect approximately one in 17,000 people. And it is characterized by a lack of the pigment melanin due to the an arrow in the biochemical pathway that converts phenyl alanine to, to melanin. There are two main types of albinism that are characterized by the areas affected by the abnormality. We have what we call oculotaneous albinism and ocular albinism. In oculotaneous albinism, uh, the people lack pigments in the skin here and, and their eyes. Okay, while in ocular albinism, they only lack the pigment from their eyes, but their skin and hair appear normal. So of these types, oculotaneous albinism is typically more prominent. So this uh, picture uh, represents patients with oculotaneous albinism. They have blonde hair and white eyebrows and lashes. So due to lack of that pigment, people with albinism also suffer from various eye problems. During retina development, the phobia does not develop correctly and nerve connections between the retina and the brain becomes uh, connected abnormally. Affected individual can suffer any of the following, nearsightedness, farsightedness, stigmatism, uh, nystagmus, uh, strabismus and photosensitivity. The eye problems may become so severe as to cause the person to be declared legally blind. Due to the consistent phenotype of the eye problems, the main way to test for alpinism is by completing an eye exam. <laughs> Another phenotype of people with albinism is a sensitivity to sun ultraviolet rays. Uh, it's strongly uh, urged that albinos wear sunscreen at all times because of the high risk 
of getting sunburn. The lack of melanin makes them more susceptible to skin cancer, melanoma. Even though people with albinism have various medical problems, uh, most fulfill a uh, normal lifespan. So, and in alcoptonuria, it is the uh, first disease to be interpreted as a Mendelian recessive trait by Garrett in 1902. Uh, it is a rare metabolic disorder resulting from loss of homogeneous one to the oxygenase activity. So this is the enzyme that is affected. So individuals that are having this disease, they have they accumulate large quantities of homogeneous uh, acid and intermediary, uh, intermediary product, intermediary product of the catabolism of tyrosine and phenylalanine. Uh, there is darkened urine and deposits in connective tissues, causing a debilitating arthritis. So this is the pathway, phenylalanine to tyrosine, and tyrosine is converted to a parahydroxyphenyl pyrubic acid, and then to homogenetic acid. So this homogenetic acid is converted to uh, myelin uh, acetoacetic acid by homogenetic acid oxidase. So if this enzyme is deficient, it means this uh, product, my, uh, myelin acetoacetic acid will not be formed and you have built up of homogenetic acid. So alcaptonuria is characterized by homogenetic aciduria, a prognosis which is bluish black discoloration of tissues and arthritis. Although the exact mechanism to which uh, these uh, symptoms uh, occur uh, is not fully understood. So for homocystinuria, children with homocystinuria are unable to metabolize the amino acid homocysteine due to the defect in the enzyme sister thionine beta synthase, which convert homocysteine to sister thionine. The disease are inherited as autosomally recessive illness and characterized by high plasma and urinary levels of homocysteine and methionine and low level of uh, cysteine. Symptoms may be mild or severe depending on the particular enzyme that uh, is affected. So we have this homocysteine uh, converted to sister thionine by uh, sister thionine beta synthase and since sister thionine is converted to, uh, to, to cysteine. So, and the enzyme deficiency in homocysteinuria is you have homocysteine and not being able to be converted to sister thionine as a result of the deficiency of sister thionine synthase. So infants with this disorder are normal as birth. The symptoms uh, first uh, include dislocation of, the, uh, dislocation of the lens of the eye, that is ectopia lentis, causing severe decreased vision, usually begin after three years of age. Most children uh, have skeletal abnormalities, including osteoporosis. Uh, the child is usually tall and thin with a curved spine, elongated limbs, and long uh, spider-like fingers, premature uh, arterial disease. Psychiatric and behavioral disorders are and mental retardation are common. For homocystinuria, uh, it makes the blood more likely to spontaneously clot, resulting in stroke, high blood pressure, and many other serious uh, problems. The diagnosis is confirmed by a test measuring the enzyme function in the liver, and some children with homocystinuria improve when given vitamin, six, uh, vitamin B6, pyridoxine, uh, which is the coenzyme of uh, sister thionine beta synthase or vitamin B12, which is uh, cobalamin. So the last disease that we are going to discuss is heart knob disease, uh, which 
uh, in heart node disease, there is defects in transporter and transport in the intestine and kidney of large uh, neutral amino acids. And loss of uh, amino acid in urine, of course. We have pellagra like symptoms, diarrhea, diabetes, dementia. For cyst uh, cystin uh, cystinuria, there is one in uh, 7,000. Uh, 7, I see the defect is the uh, defect in uh, transport in intestine and kidney of basic amino acid. So it is characterized by defect in the transport in intestine and kidney of basic amino acid. And in kidney cysteine, not been able to be reabsorbed. Uh, it, uh, in kidney cysteine, not reabsorbed forms cysteine disulfide dimer. So the system that is not being able to reabsorb, it forms cysteine, uh, cysteine uh, which is the sulfide, cysteine, cysteine, to form the uh, cysteine, which has a disulfide bridge. And it is insoluble. And it, it, it occurs, you can uh, actually uh, see this product in urine. And uh, it causes uh, UTIs and renal stones. And treatment can be uh, by administering acetazolamide, which uh, also rise the, the pH. So that's the end of the lectures. Thank you for listening. See you next.